In the glitzy world of Korean entertainment, where stars shine bright on stage and screen, it's easy to forget that even celebrities have fears. From Lee Jong-suk to Sunny and a lot more, these Korean celebrities have opened up about their super uncommon phobias, shedding light on the human side of fame. But before we continue with our video, we are requesting all of you to please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell notification button to stay updated with the latest videos from your favorite channel, Billipedia, your K-pop and K-drama encyclopedia. Also, to make this vlog more valuable, we'll share and provide some points to ponder and lessons we can learn from this video as well. Lee Jong-suk Lee Jong-suk, renowned for his captivating performances and charming demeanor on screen, grapples with a deeply rooted fear that paradoxically contradicts his public persona, scopophobia, the fear of receiving attention. While he effortlessly embodies diverse characters with poise and confidence, his struggles behind the scenes reveal a vulnerability often obscured by the glitz and glamour of celebrity life. Press conferences and fan meetings, ubiquitous fixtures in the world of entertainment, serve as arenas where Lee Jong-suk's battle with scopophobia is palpable. These events, designed to celebrate his talent and connect with his devoted fan base, inadvertently thrust him into the relentless spotlight, triggering waves of anxiety and discomfort. Despite his professional facade, the weight of scrutiny and the relentless gaze of the media and admirers can become overwhelming, threatening to overshadow his innate passion for his craft. In these moments, Lee Jong-suk employs coping mechanisms to navigate the tumultuous terrain of fame. Whether it's maintaining a composed exterior while battling inner turmoil or seeking support from trusted confidence, he confronts his fears with resilience and determination. However, the invisible struggle persists, underscoring the profound impact of scopophobia on his psyche and well-being. Kim Hee Soon Kim Hee Soon's ichthyophobia, a profound fear of fish, traces its origins back to a haunting childhood incident at a sushi restaurant. This traumatic experience, etched into the depths of her memory, has left an indelible mark on her psyche, rendering her apprehensive and wary even at the mere sight of fish. The sushi restaurant, once a mundane setting for a family outing, tr transformed into a scene of terror and distress for young Kim Hee Soon. Whether it was an unexpected encounter with a live fish or a distressing incident involving the consumption of raw seafood, the specifics of the traumatic event are deeply personal and shrouded in the shadows of her past. However, its lingering effects are unmistakable, manifesting in a visceral aversion to anything fish-related. For Kim Hee Soon, navigating a world where fish abound, from aquariums and seafood markets to culinary establishments, becomes a daunting ordeal fraught with anxiety and trepidation. The mere thought of encountering fish triggers a cascade of fear and discomfort, prompting her to avoid situations where she might be confronted with her phobia. Yoon Kaesang of G.O.D. Yoon Kaesang, a prominent member of the legendary K-pop group God, grapples with a unique phobia that transcends the ordinary. Aichmophobia, an irrational fear of sharp objects and corners. This peculiar aversion, though seemingly inexplicable, is deeply ingrained in his psyche and likely stems from a past-like trauma, the origins of which remain shrouded in mystery. For Yoon Kaesang, the presence of sharp objects in corners poses a constant source of anxiety, triggering distressing memories or sensations that are difficult to articulate. Whether it's the pointed edge of a table or the sharp blade of a knife, the mere sight or proximity of these objects sets off a flurry of panic and unease, disrupting his sense of safety and security. However, amidst the tumult of his phobia, Yu Kaesang finds solace and support in the unwavering presence of his girlfriend, the accomplished actress Honey Lee. Her steadfast encouragement and understanding serve as a beacon of light in his darkest moments, empowering him to confront his fears with courage and resilience. Together, Yoon Kaesang and Honey Lee embark on a journey of healing and self-discovery, navigating the complexities of his achemophobia with grace and determination. Through therapy, mindfulness techniques, and gradual exposure to triggering stimuli, they confront the underlying trauma that fuels his fear, inching closer toward a sense of liberation and inner peace. Cha Sung Won Cha Sung Won, acclaimed actor and model, grapples with ornithophobia, an intense fear of birds, particularly chickens, which stems from a traumatic experience during a film shoot. This irrational aversion, deeply ingrained in his psyche, stands as a stark contrast to his confident and commanding presence on screen. The harrowing encounter with chickens likely left an indelible mark on his psyche, triggering a profound sense of unease and anxiety in the presence of avian creatures. For Cha Sung Won, navigating a world where birds abound becomes a daunting ordeal fraught with fear and trepidation. Whether it's the flutter of wings or the piercing gaze of a bird, the mere sight or sound of these creatures evokes a visceral response, prompting him to avoid situations where he might be confronted with his phobia. So Ji Sia 
So G. Siop, a celebrated actor renowned for his versatility and charm on screen, confronts a seemingly innocuous yet deeply ingrained fear, globophobia, an irrational fear of balloons. Despite his outward confidence and charisma, the presence of balloons serves as a trigger for intense anxiety and discomfort, disrupting his sense of calm and composure. Globophobia, rooted in the fear of balloons popping, presents unique challenges for So Ji Siop in both personal and professional settings. While balloons are often associated with festivities and joyous occasions for him, they represent a source of fear and apprehension, overshadowing the celebratory atmosphere with a cloud of anxiety. In personal settings such as parties or gatherings, the presence of balloons can elicit a visceral response, prompting So Ji Siop to retreat or avoid situations where he might be confronted with his phobia. Despite his best efforts to conceal his discomfort, the underlying anxiety persists, casting a shadow over what should be moments of joy and connection with others. Similarly, in professional settings, such as film sets or promotional events, the presence of balloons can pose unique challenges for So Ji Siop. Whether it's navigating scenes that involve balloons or attending events where they are prominently featured, he must confront his fear with courage and resilience despite the potential impact on his performance or public image. Tableau Tableau's morbid fear of driving, despite its seemingly mundane nature, sheds light on the profound impact that phobias can have on one's daily life and routines. As a member of the iconic hip-hop group Epic High, Tableau navigates the fast-paced world of the music industry while contending with the practical inconveniences posed by his fear. For Tableau, the prospect of getting behind the wheel evokes intense anxiety and discomfort, prompting him to opt for taxes as his primary mode of transportation. This decision, though it may seem trivial to some, speaks volumes about his resilience and commitment to prioritizing his mental well-being above societal expectations. In a society where driving is often synonymous with independence and freedom, Tableau's choice to rely on taxes challenges conventional norms and perceptions surrounding mobility. Rather than succumbing to societal pressure to confront his fear head-on, he embraces pragmatism, recognizing that his mental health takes precedence over external expectations. Despite the practical inconveniences posed by his fear, Tableau navigates the complexities of his phobia with courage and resilience. By acknowledging his limitations and seeking alternative solutions, he empowers himself to live life on his own terms, unencumbered by the constraints of his fear. Hyun Bin Hyun Bin, the acclaimed South Korean actor known for his captivating performances, harbors a deeply rooted fear of losing someone close to him. This fear, though not uncommon, carries significant weight in his personal and professional life, shaping his relationships and perspective on love and loss. Despite his outward confidence and success, Hyun Bin's phobia underscores the fragility of human connections and the vulnerability inherent in forming deep emotional bonds. Through his roles on screen, he channels this fear into nuanced portrayals of characters grappling with themes of separation and longing, drawing from his own experiences to infuse authenticity into his performances. Off-screen, Hyun Bin navigates his fear with humility and introspection, cherishing each moment with loved ones while embracing the impermanence of life. His journey serves as a poignant reminder of the universal nature of fear and the transformative power of love and acceptance in confronting our deepest insecurities. Points to ponder and what can we learn from this topic? Reflecting on the experiences of Korean actors grappling with phobias offers valuable points to ponder. First, it underscores the universality of human struggles, regardless of one's fame or success. Phobias, whether seemingly mundane or deeply rooted, can profoundly impact individuals' lives and well-being, highlighting the importance of empathy and understanding in navigating these challenges. Also, the resilience and courage demonstrated by these actors serve as powerful reminders of the human capacity to confront and overcome adversity. By acknowledging their fears and seeking support, they inspire others to confront their own struggles with courage and perseverance, fostering a culture of empathy and empowerment in the face of mental health challenges. The willingness of Korean actors to openly discuss their phobias helps to destigmatize mental health issues and encourages others to seek help without shame or judgment. Their journeys serve as valuable lessons in self-acceptance and resilience, reminding us that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness but rather a testament to strength. Ultimately, the stories of these actors highlight the importance of prioritizing mental well-being and seeking support when needed, fostering a more compassionate and understanding society for individuals facing similar struggles. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more.